Do not let your anger last until the end of the day, lest you give the devil a foothold. Let the one who used to steal steal no more, but be busy himself working usefully with his hands so that he may have something to share with the needy. Do not let even one bad word come out from your mouth, but only good words that will encourage when necessary and be helpful to those who hear. Signs of the times po, yung mga societal issues ng young people, uh, hindi po tayo makaka-respond doon kung hindi natin maiintindihan yung stages of life ng mga kabataan. Basta lang tayo, eto, eto, but we won't understand na meron pong ibang issue yung young people sa paglipas ng panahon. To conduct a survey in view of their present knowledge and practice related to the Christian faith. We have no data regarding kamusta ba ang ating mga lay mission partners as regards what they know about the faith and what is their practice about the faith. Let the young people establish a volunteer group that will reach out to the unserved. And our last line of action, let the EPC incorporate in their respective SAPP the projects on social concern such as Babad and Sao Sao, at least once a year. Thank you. To organize a strategic and feasible church community involvement programs for the youth to be involved in the in church activities. So, ang idea po dito, so kami po mga youth dapat involved din po sa mga plan. Uh, involvement and support of the young because yun nga po, we are empowering the young. Kaya kapag may mga meetings po, na sana kami po mga youth din maging involved. See, this is a very long-term goal po. Medyo mapangarap pero ito po yun. Youth Ministry Center for the whole province, as in one physical building wherein uh, the young people could conduct the ministry there. And hindi lang po yung youth ministry, also dun po papasok yung ibang ministries. And in that way, makikita po natin yung collaboration and then formation would happen and everything else. lines of action, sir, the Bosco Educational Center aligns its programs and policies with the directives of the Youth Congress. Second is to conduct existing salutianity programs systematically. And lastly, create a character formation program for the youth of the different salution settings. And so we really sift through the documents that were given to us and we really wanted to be faithful to the spirit that those documents and FGDs and sharings that have happened. And so our group feels good very much about the, the, what we, we were able to came up with. That if this will be implemented by the youth groups in respect to what have the SYM already have done, we really feel there will be renewal in the youth groups in the province. Secure the family support and future of the aspirants in the solutions. For the procedure, establish a foundation that would support the families of aspirants and Salesians and the aging Salesians. That the members of the Salesian family be involved in the Salesian youth movement and be formed as Salesian youth ministers. It was very, I, we, we were very happy to know that there were Salesian cooperators who are Salesian youth ministers. And I think that is beautiful. It would be also be good if we have ADMA who are Salesian youth ministers, alumni who are Salesian youth ministers. Formulate functional programs covering specific areas such as faith, formation, mentoring, leadership skills, peer counseling, succession plans for leaders in position. Uh, most of these uh, things were um, uh, articulated by the parish youth uh, officers who are gathering together with Father, uh, Father A, the other A. Armand. So look 
for a potential youth center alumnus or alumna who become a youth leader for at least five years. It's with we put the indication of five years because if it's uh, too young, he didn't experience the oratories you know, fully. So we put it five years. Uh, ang goal po namin dito is magkaroon ng uh, twice a year meeting or gathering ng SOCOM groups for them to have uh, coordinations and as well as ma re-establish yung uh, social communication strategies sa Philippine North Province. For the Salesian Finn Province to provide professional resources, formation, training, personnel, office, and funds in a systematic way to develop, promote, and assist youth ministry. We have three lines of actions, but essentially the first one is our core. The first one is the Salesian Finn Province to invest in professionalizing Salesians lay mission partners and youth leaders in the conduct of youth ministry.